I mean, obviously, uh, to have a walk-off any time of the season is fun. That, what's it like to have one at State? It's incredible, you know. Uh, I usually could talk and talk and talk, but really not a lot to say about that. Just, you know, that kid, Connor Sullins, that's what I just told the guys. He's a worker. He's always up there getting in extra cuts. Um, you know, he started for us here as a freshman last year, went through some growing pains, made a pretty critical error in the middle part of that game. The guy in front of him gets intentionally walked. I had no doubt, had no doubt he was going to come through for us right there. Uh, we got speed on the bases with Johnson. Uh, just super proud of the guys. We stayed in the fight. That's the thing. We stayed in the fight in the middle part of the game and gave ourselves a chance late and capitalized on it. And down here, when you get that shot, you got to capitalize on it, and we did that. After last year and how it kind of snowballed on you a big inning, how much growth does that show from your team? Oh, tons, tons. And we've said that leading up to it. Uh, you know, we're a different group. But at the end of the day, when we step back on this field, we've still probably got a little thought maybe towards what happened. But I thought we made a lot of big time plays in that game. You know, even just a simple hard hit ground ball to Riley there in the top of the seventh with the go ahead run on third and a little bit of speed at the plate, stays down on it, throws a strike. That's the growth from a freshman to a sophomore and also a guy that's been here and done it. How about the way Will battled? That's Will, you know, he's been that for us all year. Uh, just a bulldog you know he doesn't get up there and just throw gas um, he knows who he is that's the biggest thing that helps will and makes will go he knows he's got to hit spots and we we gave up a couple in the middle part of that game where he missed a couple spots and he knew that and he's mature enough to handle it uh, we got what we thought we would get from will today somebody that kept us in the game uh, obviously going the distance is big moving forward uh, but yeah super proud of him that kid's you know he uh yeah he just Wish I'd give him, give him the ball every day of the week. You know, he, he's the bulldog and ultimate team guy. He's going to lay it all on the line for these guys every time. And I think you saw that today. Now you play for a state championship. I mean, just kind of carry this mindset into that day? Yeah, just carry the momentum. You know, we talk about, especially playoff baseball, is momentum is huge. And that was a momentum swinging kind of game, up and down. And uh, I think I heard somebody in their stands yelling one time, keep the momentum, and I liked it. You know, that's baseball savvy people that understand down here when you get it, you got to keep it. Um, and there was a key couple of times I felt like we got the momentum back. Um, you know, we're going to enjoy it for a little bit. That's a big time win. When you step up and make the plays we did down the stretch, uh, you deserve to enjoy that a little bit. Uh, but then it's on to treatment and recovery. And uh, like I just told them, we didn't come here to win one game. If you're going to come here, you're playing for a state championship. You want to bring that back to Abbott. Uh, so we got to enjoy it a little bit and then start recovering and be ready to go tomorrow and uh, just keep playing the game the right way. Play for these people that are here that stick with us all the time, no matter what. Um, we've, we've talked a lot. This team, every championship team has a story. We've been in some tough situations throughout the playoffs and probably none tougher than that. And Maybe that's another part of the story. We'll see come tomorrow. I think, you know, like we said earlier, a lot of it has to do with maturity and being in situations like that throughout the year where you can, you know, two weeks ago in the regional finals, we're down 7-6 in game three to Dodge City with six outs to go. Um, and so we've been in that kind of situation and, and we talked there, I think it was the fourth, like, hey, we got you know, four at-bats to go. We're fine. Just stick with what we do, put the ball in play. Um, thought our approach got a little shaky there in the six, maybe a couple weak fly outs. We want to hit line drives and ground balls and make people make plays. Um, and we stuck with that, and uh, you know it paid off in the end. When you have that message for your team to respond, what do you see in their faces, or I guess maybe their eyes, that kind of tells you, okay, like we're gonna do it? Man, first of all, it means everything because as a coach, you can sit here and preach and preach and preach, but the group's got to be bought into it and and really trust that approach and that process, and they do it. You know, we could tell these kids to run through a wall, and they would do it. Uh, for us and for each other. Um, I don't know, I think you can just see a different maturity. That's probably the biggest. You can, last year there was times, especially when we fell behind early here, you're telling them stick with it. You know, we've got a lot of ABs, but it's still tough, you know. Here, um, I think you saw kind of a culmination today of being in those types of situations and seeing, hey, if we just stick with it and keep doing what we do, we're capable of still winning the ball game no matter what's happening. 
Thanks, Kyle. Well, I was a little bit nervous when I had two strikes on me, but I just grabbed with the L and just simplified the game and hit a line drive through and scored the run. Coach, Coach what goes through your head when they intentionally walk Will to get to you? I was thinking they're going to give him up, so it's my turn to step up and do the job. Coach mentioned you're a guy that uh, takes a lot of extra at-bats, works on your game. To come through in a moment like this, what does that mean for you? Oh man, it just feels amazing to be in a big stage and just perform well and execute it well. What can you take us through that pitch that you what would you see? What were you looking for? What were you just trying to do with it? Oh, I just saw that ball and I just thinking I'm gonna keep my hands back and send it to the other side and that's about all I did. When it went through the hole, do you remember anything else or does it kinda kinda go black from there? Uh, I remember throwing up my helmet and that's about it. So I was waiting with uh, uh, teammates. For you guys, how much do you celebrate this and how much do you flip the switch pretty quickly knowing you have a game for a state title? Oh, we're going to celebrate tonight, but we're going to come back ready tomorrow and try to win this sucker. Thanks, Connor. Thanks, Connor.